Okay, coming up. Three, two, go! What drone racing is supposed to look like and what it looks like when Lucas gets his hands on the remote control. And I'm out. That's next. Right now, though, it's time for this week's Future Tech segment, and this week, Lucas gets his hands on a drone. Oh, yes, indeedy. The question is, how good is he at racing it? Raphael, I could hear that drone from outside. That thing is serious. You should probably keep an eye on it. No worries, I got it covered. I'm looking at you through the video goggles, so I actually I can see from the point of view of the drone. Wait, no way. So you're looking at me there? Exactly. And here? Yes. Drones aren't anything new. You can see them all over the world. But using drones for racing? A whole new concept that's taken off. Racing in drones uh, right now is, is more of a tactical thing. So you're trying not to be the fastest one, but to be the one that doesn't do any crashes. But I guess as the pilots become better and better, the aircraft is going to play a much more important role. Today, I'm flying with Raphael Perker. He's kind of a big deal. He's known as the godfather of drones all over the globe. He's flown over hundreds of iconic locations around the world and captured absolutely stunning footage. This is his racing drone, the Gemini. He designed it from the ground up. It's a very light object that can go around the corners really quickly, and it doesn't slow down. With POV goggles, it's like you're right in the cockpit. It's kind of an outer body experience, or a lot of people call it Superman-style flying, because you're really in the aircraft. It has the forward-swept motors, six motors in total for more power, and a highly aerodynamic canopy. So when it's flying forward, it will actually shift out of the wind and reduce the drag, so you can get full speed and high efficiency. On a normal drone, all the motors are lined up flat, and as it pitches forward, looks down, and the whole body kind of shifts the air and pushes the drone down. With this drone, the design is made so that you're flying forward. The pilot can also see better because um, the, the horizon is in view. When you're racing, the drones crash a lot, so... And even uh, when I'm not racing, my drones crash a lot. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so the whole drone is protected by a hard shell, and inside you have fully modular components. Uh, which can be snapped out on the fly and replaced as you crash or destroy them. So you can hot swap while you're actually at a race? Exactly, yeah. Okay. yeah. This camera, through this video transmitter, transmits the image back to my goggles and I can actually see what I'm piloting. Now wait a second, the question is, am I going to get to race this? Of course. So this is your controller. Okay. You got one switch that will control your flight mode. There's three different flight modes. One is a beginner mode. And then you got an acrobatic mode that allow you to do flips. And then the last one is a racing mode. So we're going to start with the beginner mode. I like that. Yeah. Wow, this thing is so precise, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've uh, flown a drone that has this kind of power in it, my friend. Yeah, <laughs> this is definitely a first. You got it. Awesome. Oh, okay, it's a uh, not bad landing after a couple of crashes. I think of I got the hang of this you thing. Got it. How fast should... does it actually go? It goes up to 90 kilometers per hour. Oh, wait. <laughs> All right, so let's try FPV. All right, and you're ready for takeoff. Oh, this, I don't know, man. This completely changes the game. Can you already feel it? Look at the, yeah, oh, awesome. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, this is unbelievable. Like, given how fast the drone's going, I'm kind of blown away that the uh, picture is so smooth right now with the FPV. Yeah, everything is transmitted instantaneously, so there's no time delay. Every control you make is instantaneously transmitted to the drone. The learning curve on this is, is pretty astounding, man. Like, you've, you've got something pretty cool here. Thanks. Whoa, oh, oh, my bad. <laughs> it keeps going. Oh, that was a recovery, though. <laughs> Did you see close. that? Yeah, I've got some freestyle points there. <laughs> Okay, all right, there's a little patented Lucas Bumpy landing there, but not bad, right? Not bad at all. <laughs> I think you're ready to race. You think you can take me on? I'm ready, man. You're going down. Gentlemen, start your drones. Three, two, go! Okay, there we go, there we go. Oh, this is so, this is crazy. Whoa, 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 whoa. And I'm out. 
I am so out. Well, I crashed pretty hard. Here's the last man standing. Raphael, you I win. <laughs> we get it. You're still flying. I'm still doing laps. It's so much fun, man. I think I need some practice. You need practice. You need practice. Raphael, you're out. <laughs> right, you guys ready? You guys back in? Let's do it. All right, let's go. All right.